Hi, everybody. How you doing today? Uh, today's subject on my awakening is going to be about thoughts from the mind versus thoughts from the heart. And let's start with the heart first. The heart is a doorway. That's right. In your spiritual world, it is a doorway to your higher self. Remember I told you in my last uh, video on my awakening was you're just a you're just a small you know uh, heart down here you left the the grandeur of it up there remember you're a spiritual being having a human experience this is so very very true and I'm going to tell you this constantly but let's let's get back to uh, thoughts from the heart uh, the heart is a doorway when, when you start being more loving, more caring, uh, uh, empathy, uh, helping, when you have that good vibrations, well, it vibrates higher. So your heart door begins to open. And uh, you can get truly by fifth dimensional heart thoughts that come from inside of you deep inside of you and I call it it is your higher self that you're actually connecting to thoughts from the mind they're only third third dimensional thoughts they're only thoughts that you've learned since the, your birth on this planet up till now to whatever age you're at but that's all the information you're only going to have because when you were taught in school, you were not taught everything. Humanity was not taught to uh, benefit humanity. You were taught to dumb you down, to keep you in a lower vibration. Humanity was, was um, directed by those being in power that's um, who kept humanity from rising up to a, a, a higher level of vibration right now you see it all across the planet wars breaking out hardships breaking out these ones know that the lower the vibration on the planet, it will keep humanity from awakening. And I'm not going to allow that. And neither is our creator. So let's talk about the difference between thoughts from the mind and thoughts from the heart. Thoughts from the mind are going to be thoughts that aren't centered they're not, they're not out for your best interest, except for if you have a materialistic thing behind it. Thoughts from the heart are thoughts that are genuine, sincere. You actually follow through with that thought because once you start telling the truth, everything's going to change. You may not think so, but it will. Hey, I've done bad things in my life. But that was then and not now. Start telling the truth. And your life will turn around. It will get better, I promise. Because it's a, it's a higher vibration. The awakening on the planet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an oversight of how I see it from my heart. Those that are self-serving or service to self, they're in the lower vibration. That's why sometimes when you start to open your heart up, those people that you used to hang with, you're not going to hang with them anymore because they're in the lower vibration. They're in the lower timeline. <laughs> and it's hard to explain timelines, let me tell you. Because 
what's happening is what you observe is what you make happen. If you're observing uh, distress, destruction, wars, uh, you know, uh, uh, non-high vibrational uh, viewing, I call it, then that's what you're going to see around you. That's what's going to come into your reality. The golden age, the new earth, they call it. It's already here. You just can't see it yet. No, because you're not vibrating high enough. Until you open this heart, you're never going to see it. And the only way to open that heart up is to start being service to others, helping others. I'm not talking like financially, even though I have helped others financially within the realm of what I can afford. You know, every soul is, is uh, tampered with their own decisions, meaning that they make their own decisions, they make their own path. So choose how you raise your children. You know, uh, if you're going to choose to have them stomp on people, throw them to the ground, throw them under the bus, hey, I guarantee later on, they're going to get the same treatment. It may be in a different way, but they're going to get the same treatment. If you treat people like they're less than you, you're going to get the same treatment. It's just whether it happens in this lifetime or maybe the next lifetime. Because if you don't open your heart, you're going to have more lifetimes. <laughs> well, regardless, you're going to have more lifetimes. But this planet is the toughest, meanest planet in the universe. <laughs> maybe not so much mean, but you can see it around you that there are ones that do not care. When you begin to open your heart, I don't care what's coming out of their lips, you're going to instantly know whether they're genuine or not. Just by their actions, by their demure, or how are you say it, your demeanor, uh, all those things that your heart will pick up on. The planet is changing. People are hearts are opening. They've been so infatuated with their materialistic world or power over others, they just, um, they're fixated on the materialistic world. And those are the ones who are going to get the, the rough awakenings. Trust me, your creator's going to wake you up one way or the other. <laughs> I know this. And I'd rather have them wake you up when you're actually trying to wake up. It's when you don't try to wake up, stay in your mind, have power over others, treat people poorly, uh, don't care. Your awakening is going to be tough, let me tell you. It's going to be tough. It's going to be abrupt, and you'll know it. Human hearts have been closed for so long because they've been teaching you that the, the materialistic world is the way to go because that's all there is. Oh, beside money and power. But trust me, this is only an illusion. Okay? Their power is coming to an end. No matter what they do, it is coming to an end. So, the thoughts from your mind come from what you've learned in this lifetime only. Your soul cannot grow in one lifetime. Anywhere in the universe, anywhere in creation. They teach it in the, in the Bible that <laughs> once you're gone, you're gone. Hey, there's too many NDEs already facilitating that as a deceptible lie. Start listening to near-death experiences. 
there are just thousands of them out there. So, and, and there's going to be thousands more coming. Near-death experiences where people have died, out-of-body experience. You know, it's funny because the Eastern world already knows this. They already know that there are lifetimes of karma here on this planet. And, and believe me, there's a lot of karma on the planet. But um, right now, souls are be given a chance to redeem that karma by just, just opening their hearts. Um, I, I want to tell you that from, from the center of my heart, that if you don't start to open your heart, it's going to get tougher. It's going to get physically tougher and heartfelt tougher. Thoughts from your heart are in relationship to uh, where you've been before you came here. That's right. That's why when you open that doorway up and we talk about the mind's eye, it's all connected. But I'm focusing on the heart right now. Getting that heart to open up. Start caring about people. Start caring about, you know, it's total strangers. I have given to total strangers, which I probably shouldn't have gave to. Because they're still, like, maybe doing drugs or doing alcohol. But trust me, there's a, there's a reason for everything. Okay? Your creator gives many, many, many chances for you to change. And I, I am not joking you one bit. But then comes a time when your higher self says, okay, if we don't intervene, he's going to try to kill himself or he's, you know, uh, whatever situation that you're in, they don't want you leaving the planet. I mean, your, your, your angels don't want you to leave the planet before your lessons are learned. It's lessons of love. Your lessons are for your heart, not for your mind. And once you get out of the mind and start opening your heart, you're going to see so much more than you ever have seen before because you were stuck in the mind. You weren't giving your heart a chance to open, to find the real you. The one that's been hiding in there. You know, uh, 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 your, your, your ego, your, your arrogance, your, it, it all comes from the mind. It does not come from the heart. You, your, your authentic soul comes from the heart. Remember? It's that little heart. That's what you're talking about. Because the bigger one, is, of course, deeper in your heart. <laughs> it's hard to explain something and I'm trying to make it easy for you to understand. When you're heart-based and you're um, feeling, you're going to have more feelings. When you go out in nature, it's going to be like uh, a weight off your shoulders. It's going to be relief. Because you can finally start thinking from the heart instead of having that mind run. You know, uh, there's times when uh, uh, I get what, what I call chatter, mind chatter, where you got so many, so many ideas going through your head. It's just like wearing you out. Or you got worry going through your head and it's wearing you out. Get to the woods, get out to the park alone. I mean, you can take your friend with you, but I'm telling you, your true decisions, your true authentic decisions will come from you and you alone. Those will be the best decisions you ever make in your life. You know, people that come here uh, want to experience the wealth. Well, trust me, when you start getting into that materialistic world, there are bitter, bigger alligators in there. It's a swamp, let me tell you. And trust me, there are bigger alligators in there. Because they're about power. 
They're about, you know, stomping on you. Go the wrong direction and trust me, you're going to get stomped on. So, find balance. Find balance in your materialistic world. That is key to keeping a good life. Stay away from the negative vibrations. Those are your power over others, service to self. Those people will only bring you into darkness even more. You got angels. Ask them for your help. They will help you. As a, as a photographer, I know the difference from my mind and my heart because I don't even see anything anymore from my mind. It's pretty much gone. Um, when your door swings open to your heart, you're going to have such a much more magical life. Me as a photographer, I'm here to show you what beauty really is. I mean, I started getting into uh, photography because I wanted to, to show you that you don't have to have, you know, the top of the line materialistic thing to show what energy you have in your pictures. And when you start to begin to listen to your heart, your heart is going to lead you to places that you would never would have thought of going to, but something magical is going to happen there. You're either going to meet somebody, you know, uh, we always say in the spiritual world that there are contracts, and I don't even like saying it. We'll say there are uh, steps that you have to finish to get to the next step. And that, those steps can be magical or they can be very, very rough depending on where your, where your thoughts are coming from. So make sure that your thoughts are coming from your heart. The hardest thing to relinquish is the ego, the arrogance the power over others. The more you give back to humanity, back to people, the more the Creator is going to give you. I promise you, He will give you more. That's why uh, in my photography, I, 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 I give all the pictures back to you because I want you to, to know you have the same abilities that I do. Am I a teacher? I'm a teacher of the heart. Of, of knowledge and kindness and, and forgiving. Finding those things in your life will truly, truly change everything. When you start leading with the heart, your life will, will drastically change. Yes, you will have to let go of people that drag you back or drag you down. Those are the ones that don't lift you up. Find the people that lift you up. Not down, up. Positive people, that's what you want. So a little bit of photography. When I go out to do my photography, I I just I start thinking about what I where I want to go, what I want to do. But I don't make my decision until I get this 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 urge to go somewhere. It may sound stupid. It may sound like uh, one day I was urged for my higher self to go to a park by me and I I really didn't, didn't have any reason to go except for okay I'll go and shoot some pictures even though most of the leaves have fallen here uh, they're still animals uh, and so I just went but lo and behold I ran into a friend 
that I haven't seen in a long time. Just out of the blue. And we had a great conversation. And um, it's those little things. Synchronicities is what I call it. When you look on a clock and you see 111 or 222 or 333 or 444, those are synchronicities. That means you're heading in the right direction. Um, when I look on my phone and all of a sudden I see 1111, these are very good numbers. They're very good. They're synchronicities and they're telling you you're heading in the right direction. Keep your heart centered and try to keep service to others in that heart of yours. Because there's things that I go do and I'll go and people ask me to come over. I don't ask them what to give me. They just give me whatever they want out of their heart because that heart that's huge, that's up, up top there, there are ourselves are up there too. And they're listening to you. And they know exactly where you're at. The Creator knows exactly where you're at. He knows exactly where you are financially, heart-centered, how much in the mind you are, and He knows every damn thought that you ever had thought of. The dark ones and the good ones. The bad ones, the ugly ones, the beautiful ones. He knows them all. There is no getting away from hiding from your creator. You cannot circumvent your creator, period. And um, getting you to believe in something you cannot see or feel or even imagine is hard. It's very hard. But the creator created this human body that you're in so you may begin to seek him find his heartbeat in others that's right you will begin to find other heartbeats that beat in a higher vibration this is where the magic starts when you get to that position or that point in opening your heart, your world will begin to unfold like a piece of paper crumpled up. Because as long as you were in the mind, the paper was crumpled up. <clears throat> because it had no way of unfolding to, to let you know that there's gonna there's more. And this paper's gonna crumple. And when it does, that's when everything will start coming to light. Your thoughts will get larger. They'll get more creative. They'll get uh, more blessings. More miracles will come. You know, um, I don't even look at, at, at money as a hardship because um, I'm semi-retired. And uh, people that I do stuff for, it's, it's, it's a donation. You know, that's what I look at it. I gave my services, they, they give their services back. I don't, I don't pin a certain price on what I have to have. Because your creator sure don't. He doesn't pin a price on you, does he? Heck no. So that, that is the tyranny of, you know, um, if you're service to self, power over others, then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get back. What you dish out, you always serve it back to you. When you point, you got three fingers pointing back at you. <laughs> I learned that a long time ago. It's not polite to point. You shouldn't have to. Once your heart opens up, you won't, you won't even think about doing any of this stuff. And no matter how mean or somebody is to you, there will be no reaction. I know for a fact that I have angels. And I know for a fact that you 
have angels. No doubt about it. Nobody on this planet is without an angel. Even those dark ones have angels. I'm not sure how their angels correlate with them. But they also play their part in creation. The dark ones play their part in creation because we have to learn. And if you don't have somebody teaching, teaching others, your creation can't grow. If there was no bad guys in the universe, or I shouldn't say bad guys, if there was no darkness in the universe, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't create much because nothing's driving. It, it's hard for me. When I, I look at darkness, I don't pity them. I just, just send them love because they need it more than, more than most. They just don't know it yet. And some are not going to be willing to change. They're going to stay in, in their mind and power over others. Let them be. Just let them go. Because as you can see, I'm not going to say who is in charge because I already know who's in charge. And if you haven't figured that out, well, you will. There's a lot of people still asleep on the planet. They're not awakened yet, and those ones need to be awakened. So there's going to be some more stuff coming. Yeah, and you're going to begin to see, we'll just say, how corrupt the darkness truly is. And I'll leave it at that. And you will begin to see, when your heart begins to open, you're going to see exactly who's who. And it's coming. And there's nothing that's going to stop it. Because the planet is ascending, it's awakening, and it's going to ascend. Right now, you you got a lot of bad actors coming out. You can see them. They're, they're like, uh, you know, alligators coming out of the swamp. <laughs> Their swamp is being drained from a, uh, a prior <laughs> thought, thought from a... Uh, a guy that, uh, you know, he, he has his own problems, but he'll, he'll get through it. If he's got faith, he'll get through it. God's not going to leave him out in the darkness, okay? So, thoughts from the mind versus thoughts from the heart. The thoughts from the mind are just what you've learned in this lifetime. When you open the doorway to your heart, those thoughts are from all your lifetimes. And I'm not just saying on this planet. Oh yes, you go beyond this planet. But that'll be for another time in another series of my awakening. Thank you everybody for listening. I hope this helps you understand your thoughts from the mind versus your thoughts from your heart. Work on that and your life will become much better. Much more balance. Finding balance is key. Um, uh, when I joined this YouTube channel, I knew that I was going to start talking about my spiritual journey because you guys need to hear it. it, it it's phenomenal. I, I've held this back for well over 10 years and I'm just going to tell you like it is. <laughs> Maybe not the bad parts, but I'm going to tell you the balanced parts, okay? Because us indigos, which if you're, uh, I think, 40 and over, you are part of the indigos that came to this world to help lift humanity into the light so that they may see what their world has been from behind the veil. And right now, that veil is being stripped so that you can see what's going on. So yeah, work on your heart. Be honest. Be truthful. You'll never have to look behind you. Ever. Ever. That's key. And those shoulders of yours, 
they won't be weighted down no more because you'll be in control of your own life, your own direction. Each one of us has our sails. We're on a ship and we have our sails up. But if somebody keeps jerking your sails out so you can't go forward, then you never will. I want you to grab a hold of your ship. Grab a hold of that, 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 you know, the steering wheel. <laughs> you know, the one with the knobs on it. <laughs> and start steering your direction. Start listening to your heart, what it says. When you go out, it's, it's, uh, I, I choose my own direction, but I listen to my heart self. I listen to my angels because those thoughts that come in, they're like, um, when a thought comes in from an angel, it's like glass. It just slides in and you'll, you'll see this thought and you'll think, oh, well, should I go there? And then you'll see another one that is telling you to go there. That's when you open your heart. Start following them thoughts. Balance. Genuine. Being genuine is, is key. Finding love amongst all that's happening in your world. Finding love so that you can stay centered and balanced. Because it's going to get a little tipsy topsy turvy. And I'm here to help you Balance your hearts during these times. This channel is going to be about positive thinking, positive thoughts, being genuine, bringing uh, <clears throat> my information on my cameras to you and, and just giving it all to you. Because I want you to have the same thing I do and feeling good about taking pictures. Don't listen to those people that criticize. You know, when they got uh, Ferraris and, and Porsches, they're in their own league. Let them be. I'm for the 99%. I'm not for that 1%. I'm here to help you find you. Thanks, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Remember, subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for all your support. Have a beautiful day.